In today's video, we will see the second property of arithmetic mean. The second property is that the sum of the squares of the deviations of a set of values is minimum when taken about the mean. That is, the value of z will be minimum when a is equal to the arithmetic mean that is x bar. For better understanding and easy assimilation, I will first prove the property numerically before explaining the proof theoretically. We will consider two cases. In the first case, we will assume the value of a is equal to arithmetic mean. We had calculated the value of arithmetic mean as 7 in the previous video. Hence, the value will be equal to, uh, value of a will be equal to the arithmetic mean that is 7. So, the value of deviation that is x minus a will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. The squares of the deviation will be 4, 1, 0, 1 and 4. The product of frequency and squares of deviation will be 12, 5, 0, 5, 12. And now when we take the sum of squares of the deviation, it will be 34. Now we will consider the second case. In the second case, we will select any random value for A. Suppose we select A as 6. Then the values of deviation will be minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. The squares of the deviation will be 1, 0, 1, 4, 9. And the product of frequency and square of deviations will be 3, 0, 7, 20, 27. So when we take the sum of squares, the sum of squares of deviation will be 57. So the value of z in the first case when a is equal to the arithmetic mean is 34 and the value of z for any value of a is 57. If any other value of a means we have taken the value as 6. Okay, You can take any other number and try and uh, find out the value of z yourself okay thus we can see that the sum of the squares of the deviation of a set of values is minimum when taken about the mean as we found out in case number one when we got the value of z as 34 now let us see the theoretical proof we have to prove that the value of z is minimum when a is equal to arithmetic mean that is x bar applying the principle of maxima and minima we can say that z will be minimum if dou z by dou is equal to 0 and dou square z by dou a square is greater than 0. So let us see the first part that is dou z by dou a is equal to 0. On further simplifying, we get 1 upon n summation of fi xi is equal to a which is nothing but the arithmetic mean x bar is equal to a. Thus we have proved the first principle that dou z by dou a is equal to 0. Now let us see if dou square z by dou a square is greater than 0. So reducing it further, we get the value of dou square z by dou a square is equal to 2n which is obviously greater than 0. Thus the two principles of maxima minima have been satisfied. Thus z will be minimum when a is equal to x bar. That's all for today. In the next video, we will see the third property of arithmetic mean. Thank you.